Cancers and welcome to your May 2016 tarot reading. My name is Nikki and like always I would like to welcome you to my channel if you are new and to remind you that this is a general reading for all Cancers so if you are interested in something just for yourself you can visit my website. It will be linked in the description below. I do tarot readings for $15 and I offer other deals on there such as video response and palmistry so if those are something that you're interested in you can also check those out. And um, if you do not have a PayPal account you, fr you can visit my um, Etsy shop and um, make a purchase on there. So I will also have my Etsy shop linked in the description below. And now I would like to point your attention to the gemstones above the cards. The gemstone to the right, that is an emerald. And I'm resonating with emerald for the month of May because it is the planetary birthstone for May, um, correlating um, its energy with the planet Venus. I have been doing the mystic or the talismanic birthstones um, recently, but I wanted to change it up and do a do something a little bit different and I had this beautiful emerald gemstone and um, it was just calling for me to resonate with it so um, if you do work with emerald it's wonderful to use for rejuvenation purposes or um, prosperity and <laughs> by looking at the cards I can already tell that this would be a great gemstone um, for you Cancer for the month of May because there looks like there's going to be some ups and downs when it comes to finances. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, anyways, I'm in the process of making a video on Emerald. So um, if I may have it up by the time this video goes up. I'm not sure. Uh, but you can check for that also in the description below because if I have it done by that time I will uh, link it down there. Okay, let's go ahead and get to your cards. Okay, for the first week of May, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse, and in fact, all your cards are reversed. Now, the Ten of Cups is usually your happily ever after card, but when it's in its reverse position, something is disrupting that happiness. So there's something going on in, in your lovely world that is um, put it, putting a hiccup or a bump in the road for you and um, and you know, changing it up a bit so um, you know this could have to do with with um, your work with your relations with your family um, this could have to do with um, some kind of troubleshooting and some kind of project that you're in or um, or a hobby that you're into. Um, this could, I think it's going to be financial personally because I'm looking at the cards ahead, but it could be some s separate situation altogether. But it does seem that these cards do speak about one specific situation in the month of May. So I think for the majority of you, this, this hiccup or this bump in the road um, in your happy existence is going to be um, financial. And for the second week of May, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Now, that's actually a very positive card because it shows that you've had some hardships in the recent past and help is coming through. So if you've had hardships with money, you're getting money. Or, or you know, if you need assistance in some area, um, assistance will be there in that second week. Someone is there to to help you, to guide you, to lend you money if that's the case, or um, offer you a job or anything like that. In the third week of May we have kind of a turnaround. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse and this is this is trouble keeping a hold of money. This is um, fear, you may fear that um, that you're not going to have enough money for whatever it is that you need, for the light bill, for the phone bill, uh, for these wants or needs. Hopefully it's not very serious, but um, you know, you have this, you have this uh, help in the second week 
but yet you're getting fearful in the third week. So I don't really know what's going on exactly, but you have some ups and some downs. It's like a roller coaster when it comes to your finances in the month of May. Um, I don't really see you losing money, per se. I mean, you might be losing money, uh, but I don't think it's like somebody stealing off of you or anything like that. I think it's that, you know, you might be getting, um, you might be spending too uh, frivol frivolously, okay, and, um, or not paying attention to where your money is going, or this might just be a fear that you're going to end up in that tight spot again when it comes to money. So, um, so yeah, it's like a roller coaster with finances. And in the last week, you have the Seven of Swords in reverse. This is usually like um, an apology or something being returned to you. If something was stolen, it's going to be returned. So if your money did happen to be stolen, then it's going to come back in some way, shape, or form. It may not come back from the person who stole it because that's rare. Um, but it will come back to you. Um, if, if you've, you know, just overspent and, um, and spent too much money, uh, somehow this money is going to make its way back to you. Um, if, it may have nothing to do with money at all, though. The Seven of Swords could be, um, connected to a entirely separate situation. So, um... Look for somebody to apologize. Perhaps somebody has hurt your feelings. Um, it, like I said, if something was taken from you, it will be returned. Um, look for look for some kind of help or aid again, because the Seven of Swords can be somebody helping you pick up the pieces um, in the last week. So, so yeah, that is your your reading in its entirety, Cancer. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did. Uh, remember to push that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed because I do this every month. And um, remember to leave a comment. I love to read your comments and I haven't got a whole lot of comments recently. Um, maybe it's because I haven't mentioned it and reminded you. But um, let me know if uh, the cards correlated or did not correlate with what happened in your month. Um, I love to hear about that stuff. So um, I will be excited to talk to you all next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>